Hello, good morning. This is Robin Norgren, and I am your life coach slash spiritual director slash uh, fellow human trying to figure out all the answers to life's questions. And I wanted to talk to you today um, by, about the idea of the modern day martyr. And it's being influenced by um, Henry Nouwen um, and his thoughts on spiritual direction. So to be a witness means to lay down your life for your friends, to become a martyr in the original sense of the word. To be a witness means to offer your own faith experience and to make your doubts and hopes, failures and successes, loneliness and woundedness available to others. And then they are allowed to use it as a context in which they can struggle with their own humanness and quest for meaning. What we do instead is we often hide behind our many emotional, mental, and spiritual masks. Who really wants to make their struggles available to others as a source of growth and understanding? Who wants to be reminded of their weaknesses and limitations, doubts and uncertainties? Who wants to confess that God cannot be understood, that human experience is not explainable, and that the great questions of life do not lead to answers, but only to deeper questions? Who wants to be vulnerable and say with confidence, I don't know? To offer or receive spiritual direction calls for the courage to enter into the common search, confront our brokenness, and use this capacity to grow through wisdom and understanding. Let me say that again. To offer and receive spiritual direction calls for the courage to enter into the common search to confront our brokenness and to use this capacity to grow through wisdom and understanding. Spiritual direction means to listen to the other without fear and to discover the intimate divine connections with your own stormy life history. It means to help others discover that their questions are human questions. Their search is a human search. And their restlessness is a part of the restlessness of the human heart, your own included. So this is what spiritual direction should look like and feel like. Helping others discover their questions are human questions. Their search is a human search. And their restlessness is a part of the restlessness of the human heart. To those with serious struggles and burning questions, I want to reach out with compassion and say, You seek answers to what cannot be fully known. I don't know either, but I will help you search. I offer no solutions, no final answers. I am as weak and limited as you are, but we are not alone. Where there is clarity, let me change that, where there is charity and love, God is there. Together we form community. And together we continue the spiritual search. That's the type of spiritual direction that we should all seek. Thanks so much for stopping by. Mm-hmm.